guys, the Adventurous Allotment here here. This is part two of a video that I'm doing about an update, a November update to my allotment. Uh, in the last one I did the um, ornamental, se uh, sorry, the fruit section there. This time I'm doing the ornamental section update and I'm going to show you what's going on with this. So here I have, of course, my ornamental um, area uh, goes along here, along this bed, up to the top uh, plaque there. So uh, that will cover this area. So basically I still have a lot of plants growing here uh, in the ornamental beds. I have obviously this this red cordyline which is still just store water the garden. So it's been here since the beginning. Um, and I have all the flowering stuff, this kufir here with the bright orange flowers. And this one, very nice, very dependable at this time of year. Probably the best flower you'll get until the frost. Um, I've got my cannas that are just here, looking very healthy, and uh, I believe some have got seeds actually. In fact, I'll pick one of these and show you. Oh, they've been rotted, <laughs> they've actually rotted the seeds, but yeah, they're no use anymore. There's one seed. I don't know what's happened there. Um, they're usually uh, small, black and shiny. I think they've probably been on the plant too long and stopped to rot. Um, I've got various, uh, there we go, I've got, um, so that's the canners. We've got more of them over there. Um, we've got this uh, this fuchsia here. Now this was interesting because it was self-seeded. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how it got there. I don't know how it got there, but um, it was from, it was seeded from, a, I think it was a plant over there, but I'm not sure you can see it here. This one. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what variety that is, to be honest. Um, I suspect it is Thymophilia, Fuchsia Thymophilia, but I'm not sure because the leaves seem too big. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but I'll update you when flowers come on. That'll probably be next year. Um, other than that, we have the banana plant seed. These are the ornamental banana Musa Baju completely hardy, still got its leaves, still growing. Um, they'll grow above 6 degrees and uh, they'll noticeably grow above 10. But they're still growing, you can see that new little growth, the, the growth here is uh, still growing, still coming out. Behind them, you can see at the bottom there in the floor on the ground, that is um, pineapple lily. I planted that this year, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I've got a few more here. Yeah. I did this plant in one of my endemic species videos, you can go back and have a look at that. This is Melanocillinum decipiens, this one here. This is the endemic species to um, to Madeira, um, quite hardy. Again, evergreen, a very interesting plant. If you want any more information on that, have a look up, it's quite interesting. That's Melanocillinum decipiens or giant black parsley. Um, then behind it here I have... Um, this one is just something that plants as bedding. This is a, um, I forget, it's a Salenum. So, um, it's Christmas cherry, I think, or something like that. So yeah, if you sell it as bedding at this time of year, you plant them in your borders. And, but I've had that in there for about three years and it's self-seeded everywhere. So, so quite, a, quite a voracious plant. Um, and then one of my main plants here is Brugmansia. This is the bigger plant here, with the big leaves here. Um, it's got quite a big size this year. A lot of growth happened. Usually it flowers by this point, but it hasn't yet. Um, it is getting a few flowers actually, if I show you around here. In fact, you can see here. Yeah, these, uh, these pods here. These are... Try and remove that. Yep, they're flowers. And I don't know, I'm not sure when they're going to open, but hopefully it'll be before the first frost, otherwise we won't see any flowers this year. But this always burns back to the ground in the winter and comes back up in spring. It's a tender plant, but it works. It grows back, it seems to like here. Um, it takes sort of frost. It, it takes the frost in its own way, but it still grows back. Um, the next ones I want to show you. I've got more canners here of the same variety. Just here, they're bigger. Yep, there they are. 
after all, I grew them from seed. I grow all these canners from seed. And you can see here, there's some seed pods developing, some spent flowers and some flowers here. So yeah, it's still growing. It usually grows like this until the first frost again, and then sort of wanes off a bit as the, as the uh, frost and the cold come. And then I've got my tea down here, obviously, you can see just here, the tea plants, they're doing okay, they're doing okay, they're doing okay. Um, ah, one plant I forgot to mention over here was the tetrapanax, or the rice paper plant, just down here. It's only a small one, didn't grow as much as I thought it would from when I planted it, but uh, it's still in leaf, which is uh, good. These are hardy at root level, so and stem level, so they'll come back in the spring. They'll and hopefully by next year they'll be taller than me. It's, I don't know whether that'll happen, but we'll see. Um, and of course the palm tree there, that's a choosing palm or Trachycarpus fortunate hardy palm. Can be grown anywhere really in the UK, in the British Isles, this uh, hardy palm. The windmill palm it's also known by. Um, and then I'll come over here. And uh, I just last plant I want to really show you is the the uh, Euphorbia mellifera, which was a plant that I was discussing in a past video about the endemic species, like the one over there. And this is Euphorbia mellifera, and that's really, really starting to grow well now. It's quite big and bushy, looks very healthy. I've got another one behind, if you can see it. Yeah. So yeah. So that's my ornamentals, and uh, they're doing really well. Because um, there hasn't been a frost yet, so they're still growing. They're still happy, it's quite mild today. Uh, it's been quite mild the last few days. In the night it's been a bit chilly, but we haven't had frost yet. I think the minimum's been about 5 degrees, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so it's all good. Uh, hopefully this will carry on. It would be nice to get some uh, more growth on the bananas, for example, before uh, winter sets in proper. Anyway, that was my uh, ornamental uh, update. Um, if you like this video, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to my channel and share this with anyone who might be interested. And I'll see you next time for the third installment. See you.